How is it going everyone? Today I'm here with my WWE Money in the Bank 2017 pay-per-view predictions. Of course, Money in the Bank is a SmackDown Live exclusive pay-per-view event that takes place live on the WWE Network as well as pay-per-view tomorrow night. And overall, like I said, going into the show, I'd say I'm excited, you know, mainly due to the fact for the two Money in the Bank ladder matches. Uh, because besides that, not a whole lot going on in this pay-per-view. I feel like SmackDown Live uh, going to the Money in the Bank really hasn't been all that great. I mean, they've been producing, you know, solid shows for the most part. But I feel like it's been very lackluster and very lazy built to this pay-per-view. I just feel like with a men's Money in the Bank ladder match, you pretty much are getting the same thing every single week. Whether it's singles or, you know, a tag team match between the six competitors, you're getting the same thing. Uh, kind of same with the women's as well. You're just kind of getting different variations of the same matchup every single week. Uh, and, of course, you know, Randy Orton and Jinder Mahal had very, uh, very minimal build to their rematch. So, I feel like the build uh, going into Money in the Bank uh, has been very lackluster. And, like, there really hasn't been anything solidified in this card. Like, there's no mid-card at all in this card. And look at it. I mean, there's mid-card matches. But, like, from the mid-card scene in SmackDown Live, there's no real mid-card talent on this show. So, I feel like Creative was just very, very lazy. And they just didn't really try uh, to put on a good, solid card for this show. Um, but, you know, I'm not saying it'd be a bad show because there's not really much bad going on in the show. But, um, I don't know. Very lackluster. I feel like they really didn't put any effort into the show. Uh, I mean, it is Money in the Bank. It's exciting to the fact that we're going to crown uh, the Money in the Bank winner. Not just one, but two of them this year for two separate championships. So, that's an exciting factor. But, take away the ladder matches. Nothing really um, newsworthy or exciting is going to be going on on this pay-per-view. So, I'm excited, like I said, just to do the fact that we're getting the two ladder matches. But, um, uh, yeah, that's my overall feelings going to the show. Six matches scheduled for the show. Of course, five of them being on the main card, with one of them being on the one-hour kickoff show, one hour prior to the pay-per-view. The Hype Bros making the return, taking on the Colognes. Nah, not really much to say about there. But the five matches we do have on the main card, um, three championship matches, of course, followed by the two ladder matches. Um, I'm pretty sure we'll probably get a match or two added on the main show uh, during the pay-per-view, maybe a squash or something like that. I don't know. I just don't feel, I don't see this show going uh, with only five matches. But of course, you have the Uso defending their SmackDown Tag Team titles against the New Day. Uh, we've seen this feud at the beginning of 2016. Um, it was pretty good from what I remember. The match of the Royal Rumble was pretty good as well. So um, hopefully we get a solid matchup between the two teams in this and matchup. Uh, of course, Lana challenging Naomi in her SmackDown Live entering debut uh, for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Um, hopefully Lana's improved significantly since the last time I saw the ring, which I believe was at WrestleMania 32 last year, uh, at least on WWE TV. I know she's done NXT live events, but um, hopefully she's improved. Um, if she hasn't, then I don't know where to go from her from here. So um, hopefully Lana improved because if she didn't, that's not very good. Uh, of course, we begin the first ever women's Money in the Bank ladder match, of course, vying for a SmackDown Women's Championship contract. Um, historic uh, five women in this match. Would have preferred being six. I honestly would have preferred Lana being this match just so it evens out with uh, both ladder matches out of six people. But I'm not going to complain. History being made for the first time. Women's division is definitely evolving. Uh, you know, last year with the first Hell in a Cell, first pay per view main event, uh, first Iron Man match. Well, not the first Iron Man match. Well, on the main roster, first Iron Man match, that is. But um, a lot of historical things going on in the women's division and, you know, just add money in the bank to another accolade in that uh, historic um, rise. So. First ever women's money bank uh, ladder match for a SmackDown women's uh, women's change of contract. Very exciting. Hopefully it plays out safely. Hopefully no no one gets seriously injured. But uh, I'm very excited to see how that plays out. Uh, Jinder Mahal having his first title defense against Randy Orton. Um, you know I didn't like their matchup. Backlash is very vocal about that. Not very high on Jinder Mahal being the WWE champion. But um, hopefully it's a better outing here. I know there, there's going to be legends at rings out of Randy Orton uh, considering the story they've been doing. Uh, but I'm just hoping for a better performance because, like I said, back last year I wasn't really too impressed with uh, either men. So hopefully Jinder Mahal can uh, prove me wrong and have a better showing here. And then, of course, with having the Money in the Bank contract ladder match, of course, vying for a WWE Championship contract. Um, Going to be an awesome match here. Um, perfectly fine with five of the six guys winning. Um, one of the most stacked Money in the Bank matches we've had in quite some time. Uh, very, very excited. Uh, I feel like everyone's going to go out there and deliver and have one hell of a showing. We should have some great spots, some great moments, and just a lot of great action in this match overall. So I'm very excited for the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. It should be a killer match, and uh, I'm very excited for it. But um, yeah, that's the card for Money in the Bank. And you guys clicked on this very for my predictions. That's what you guys are going to get. Kick off the Hype Bros versus the Colognes. No doubt the Hype Bros are winning. They just reformed. Zack Ryder just made his return to SmackDown Live. So there's really no reason for them to lose. Uh, eventually, Zack Ryder will turn on Mojo Raleigh, but that's just not that time right now. They'll build up eventually. But um, yeah, the Hype Bros, uh, no doubt my pick to get the win on the kickoff show here against uh, the Colognes. 
Women's Money in the Bank contract, the ladder match, Tamina vs. Natalia vs. Charlotte Flair vs. Carmella vs. Becky Lynch. I can see this match going two ways. One being Becky Lynch, I feel like her winning could lead to her turning heel when she cashes in. But the way I think they're going to go is with Carmella. Carmella is picked to win this match. I feel like she's the most logical person to win this. I feel like it's her time to be injected into the SmackDown Women's Championship title scene. And I feel like her winning the briefcase is the most logical thing. I feel like James Ellsworth can easily help her win it and, you know, thus giving her heel heat in the process. So, I feel like logically she's the most logical person to get the win. Hopefully this is the great first ever women's money in the bank ladder match, but Carmella's I picked to become the first ever Miss Money in the Bank. SmackDown Tag Team Championship match, SmackDown Tag Team Champions, the Usos versus the New Day. I don't want to see a New Day uh, title reign this soon already. Um, I know they haven't been Tag Team Champions in a while now, but I just don't want to see them as champions right now. Usos are red hot, and I feel like it'd be pretty wrong in them to take the Tag Team titles off them. Usos should be built up as a mega heel tag team, and when they lose it, it should be a big deal. So, should be a fun match. I'm looking forward to it in a sense, but uh, my prediction is that the Usos will still walk out the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. SmackDown Women's Championship match, SmackDown Women's Champion Naomi vs. Lana. I can honestly see Lana winning the title here. Um, maybe she wins by DQ or countout, so she still wins but doesn't win the title. I don't know, but um, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to go ahead and pick Naomi. I feel like her win or her losing the championship to Lana just, I don't know, just, it doesn't fit the scenario. But um, hopefully it's a decent match, but um, one way or another, I think Naomi walks out still the SmackDown Women's Champion. WWE Championship match, WWE Champion Jinder Mahal vs. Randy Orton. You know, as much I'd like to see Randy Orton regain the championship, I don't see it happening. I see Jinder Mahal somehow or another walking out still the WWE Champion. This match needs to be better than the Backlash match because I didn't like that match at all. Um, I thought it was a boring match and didn't really do anything that good for me. But um, hopefully this match is better than that match because uh, Jinder really needs it. And he's a better outing from that previous match. But um, I'll be rooting for Andy Orton, honestly. I'll say right now, I'll be rooting for Andy Orton. But uh, can it come in result, I do expect Jinder Mahal to walk out still the WWE Champion. And then the main event, Money in the Bank contract the ladder match. Dolph Ziggler versus Sami Zayn versus United States Champion Kevin Owens versus AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura versus Baird Corbin. Honestly, I'm okay with five out of six guys winning. Ziggler is the only guy I don't want to see win. Everyone else, I'd be perfectly fine uh, seeing them win. But you know what? When it comes down to it, I have one guy, and I feel like he's going to win it, and that's Baron Corbin. I feel like ever since post-WrestleMania, they've been cooling Baron Corbin down. I feel like they've been doing that on purpose, just so that way, when he wins this, it's a bigger deal than, you know, what it would have been if he was, you know, winning constantly, having a lot of steam. Um, other guys, I wouldn't, you know, if I had a second guy, I'd pick Nakamura to win it. I feel like he'd, my, he'd be my second pick, followed by AJ Styles, followed by Kevin Owens. But uh, my, my main pick... And honestly, I do think he should win it anyways out of the bunch is Baron Corbin. So my pick to become the brand new Mr. Money in the Bank, Baron Corbin. Well, ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys enjoyed my WWE Money in the Bank 2017 pay-per-view prediction. Like I said, Money in the Bank is a SmackDown Live exclusive pay-per-view event. It takes place live on the WWE Network as well pay-per-view tomorrow night. Um, like I said, I'm excited due to the fact that the two ladder matches. Besides that, everything else kind of just, you know, I'm not really too excited for it. I mean, not, it shouldn't be bad. Um, this easily has the potential to be a really good, a great show. In my opinion, if everything delivers properly. But um, like I said, just the exciting factor is not there. The lackluster build for pay-per-view, uh, the amount of talent missing from this show. Um, I don't know. I feel like a lot of laziness contributed to this pay-per-view, and it's, it hurt the builds going into it definitely, and the excitement going into it as well. So um, hopefully, Money Bank delivers. Um, you know, Backlash wasn't a very good show, so hopefully, Money Bank makes up for that. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like below. If you guys would like in the comment section, please leave your guys' money bank predictions as well in the comments if you guys would like. And as always, until my pay per view review tomorrow night, I'll see you guys and thank you guys for watching the video.